What's good, man? What's good? What's good? Oh my goodness. I bet you guys can't guess who this is. <laughs> yeah, man. The University of Calgary. The Dinos in the house. The Dinos recently arrived here in North Carolina from Calgary. Shane sent them down and I got them today and boy oh boy did Shane do a damn good job. Shane, awesome job dog, awesome job. These guys look amazing. So I want to just pan around just a little bit to give you guys an opportunity to look at the dinos man. So um, they look really good. Great paint job, Shane. You did an awesome job, man. Um, I like what you've done with these guys. So uh, so everybody can get an opportunity to see them. Decaling looks really good. Hand painted, um, you see on the side of the helmets here. Great job. I know that must have been a pain, dog, Shane. I know that was a pain. So, um, yeah, man, these guys look great. They look great. Just stunning. Look at that. Just stunning. So, um, man, wow. Great job. So the dinos are here, man. So um, let's get into it. So we're going to talk about the dinos a little bit. I had an opportunity to spend a lot of time actually studying the dinos offense and the dinos defense. Found some videos online um, about the dinos and how they go about playing and uh, again the fat eight were all about realism I want to play the team the way that they actually play right so um, my father being a coach a real coach um, and um, he's, he's coached football for a, a very very long time so we had an opportunity to look at um, offensive schemes and defensive schemes for the Dinos and uh, the type of offense that they use and what I can tell you is it is a very fast team they play very fast pace um, they love to throw the ball they spread the ball out and they throw the ball a lot so we're gonna have to make this team one of those teams that is a possession team because that's what the dinos are in studying their offense studying offensive film and watching them they're all about ball possession and so they're gonna spread the ball out they're gonna throw short passes they're gonna get chunks small chunks of yards and then go for the big passes and the runs almost when they run the ball you almost don't even see it coming um, because they mix it up, the run and the pass, they mix it up so much and they spread you out so much. Quick passes, quick runs, big throws. Um, so that's the kind of spirit that we want to try to capture um, in the dino, with the dinos. Run a lot of shotgun, running a lot of draw plays, running a lot of quick pass plays. Three step drop and pop, that kind of thing. Um, that is really unique and that, that's going to bring a very unique flavor to the Fat 8. Speaking of that, after having the conversation, um, the Dinos is going to be a Fat 8 team. The Dinos officially have joined the Fat 8 conference. That update is on the website. So you guys go out on the website and you can see on the front page the dinos are there the dinos are officially a fat eight conference team and so they will be playing in conference each season so i am excited i'm looking forward to playing with these guys and um seeing if they can win a division championship and the fat eight national championship that's gonna be awesome looking forward to it man so let's get down to it because i know that this was a lot of work and um, we asked a lot of old Shane and he boy I tell you he delivered man he delivered he did an awesome job we needed a full roster 
And the, see, that's the thing about us. Again, we're looking for realism. We needed a full active roster because injuries will happen and you have to be able to replace players that go down. They can go down for a quarter. They can go down for a half. They can go down for a game. They can go down for an entire season. So, look at what we got, man. So, we have a head coach. We got the head coach, Blake Neal, here. We got Greg DeLaval. He's the offensive coordinator. We got Wayne Harris, the defensive coordinator. And we have ourselves an athletic therapist in Carrie Downer who's also here, came down for the ride. So check them out, guys. So we got them all here. And this is great because they are going to need the leadership, gonna need to spread things out. Having a defensive coordinator in the Fat Eight is very important because when the defense get themselves into trouble, it's gonna take the defensive coordinator to step in and rally the troops and get those guys back, um, get them back in sync so that they can start playing because things are going to get rough. Things can get rough very quickly. So, wow, I am just so excited about this. The Dinos are here looking good. Um, huge, huge, huge surprise. I was just so shocked. And um, Shane, I got to say this to you, man. The, uh, the pictures didn't really do these guys justice when I got them. Wow, man, look how good they look. Awesome job, dog. Awesome job. Absolutely amazing. So, um, I cannot wait to get these guys playing. So, I'm going to start practicing with them. Um, Shane, you did the tweaking for me, so I'm not going to even worry about tweaking these guys up because you've already done all the legwork for that. So I'm going to just assume that you've taken care of that um, and they should be game ready. So what I'm going to do is start working on developing their offense and their defense. Um, we're not going to use the offense and defense generator for this team um, because they already have a unique offensive style that they bring from Canada. So we're going to go with their official offensive style for season two. So we're going to just lock that in. And um, I'm going to get on, man. I'm getting ready to start having some fun. I'm getting ready to play. So, um, hey, I just wanted to bring these guys to you guys. I wanted you guys to get a chance to see um, the amazing job that Shane has done. Thank you for the gift, man. We really, really appreciate it. Um, I am honored to uh, have a Canadian team in the Fat Eight. And I am really, really happy um, and honored to represent um, you guys' organization here. Uh, I really, really appreciate the, um, the good gesture. And um, you guys are doing amazing things there. Best of luck, man. I hope you guys enjoy. Um, Calgary has two games coming up. So you're going to get a chance to see the Unity Bowl against the USC Trojans. And you're going to get to see... Calgary take on the Aggies. That's the Aggies' second game. You can find our schedules on the website as well. You can find the division on the website. We also have a vlog, a vlog on our website where all of the details in the Fed Eight Conference, all of the reports are going to be going there. News coverage is going to be going there. Game analysis is going to be going there. We're going to be keeping up with the stats of every single player in the whole conference, guys. So we'll be able to tell you how many rushing yards, how many passes, what the passing percentage is, all of that kind of stuff, man. We're going to be doing it throughout the whole season. So I hope you guys buckle your seatbelts, man. Buckle your seatbelts and get ready. Calgary is in the house. All right, man. I'm going to sign off. Peace.